Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is Chris Perrette with Social Hustle, and today we're gonna to be completing our shopping connection for Google Ads. And so in our prior videos, we went through how to set up a connection between your Shopify account and the Merchant Center. From there, we went through how to actually set up your Merchant Center to make sure it had all the information that you need for your Google Ads. And today we're gonna to be finalizing that connection from the Merchant Center all the way over to Google Ads so that you can run your product feed there. All right, so hopping right into it, we're just gonna pick up right where we left off in our last video. We we're working with H2O and we are connecting their shopping center. And so from the Merchant Center, if you wanna connect your Merchant Center to your Google Ads account, all you need to do is come to the settings here and then come down to the shopping ad setup. And you're gonna scroll down to the bottom and it's gonna say Google Ads account and you're just gonna go ahead and click link account. Now, to connect this, you're actually going to need to be logged into the Google Ads account that you'd like to connect. All you need to do is copy the number right here, your account ID. All right, once you have copied that, you'll come down to link account and you'll just paste that number right there and hit send link request. Now this is gonna send that link request over to Google Ads and we're gonna pick up in the Google Ads account and accept it. Moving into the Google Ads account, it's important to note that if you've done this before, it changed literally in the last week at the end of 2020. There is now a settings and billing section. And so clicking on the settings and billings, you can come over to linked accounts. Now, the other option is that the little bell here should give you a notification. Mine says removed because I removed it to film this video. What you're gonna do though is scroll down to the bottom, go to the Merchant Center, either come here and click the one that says new link pending or hit details. From the details, you'll see there's a pending request. You wanna match up, make sure that the account ID right here, this 4729 matches the tailing 4729. We know that this is now the same account that helps, you know, just to make sure we're connecting to the right account. View details and we're gonna go ahead and approve that request. That's all it takes to connect the accounts. Now you have a feed that comes from your Shopify account to your Merchant Center, from your Merchant Center back across to your Google Ads account, and now you can set up shopping ads. One thing I wanted to mention, guys, before, before we call it here, is that if you started with us in Shopify, you may recall that there was an opportunity in the Settings tab to create a new Google Ads account or to connect a Google Ads account. While you're setting up your Shopify, if the right Google Ads account appears there, go ahead and connect it. That's perfectly fine. Sometimes when you're working with MCC, it doesn't work that way. I've seen it where it won't show the right account. And that's why I went ahead and showed you how to connect it this way. In addition to that, if you went ahead and you connected your Merchant Center by clicking the create new option that was here, again, you don't need to go through any of those connection processes. I just wanna make sure that you guys know how to do it from scratch or from an existing account. Now, the next video that we're gonna do is gonna be actually setting up shopping ads. We're gonna go through the strategy behind breaking down shopping ads, importing that feed, breaking it into different products, and how you actually track the revenue that's there. One final piece that's really important to remember is that when you set Set up a Google Ads account with Shopify and you connect that here, you connect it through here, this is actually gonna let you import all of your conversion tracking. And so if you can get it to connect here, if it does work or if that option exists, go ahead and connect it there because your conversion tracking is actually going to import that way. Um, you know, we're using some test accounts here and so sometimes it doesn't work out super clean, but for you, if you're using a single email, and that's the key, one email for your Shopify account, one email for your Merchant Center, one email for your Google Ads account, it should pop up in that field, it should connect, and it'll import all of your conversion tracking tracking, which we want to take a look at in the next video. Again, guys, this is Chris Perret from Social Hustle, where we manage just over a half a million dollars in ad spend every month. I'm committed to bringing you guys informative and helpful Google Ads videos every single week. And so if you have any questions, if there's anything that stood out to you, please feel free to drop that down below. I'm still new to doing these videos. I'm doing it just to help you guys. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you're, you're wanting to learn here. And then hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for next week. Thanks, guys.